I have some sizable chicken drumsticks here and we're gonna hit these with a really good rub. We're gonna grill them up out on the Weber kettle and we are gonna make some big buffalo chicken legs. Yeah, I mean, look at these things. These are like from chickens that work out. They almost look like small turkey legs. So we're gonna be getting these out on the Weber kettle tomorrow. If you've watched enough of my videos um, when I do chicken, a lot of times I like to season it the day before and let it air dry in the refrigerator overnight. That allows it to absorb some of the flavors. It also helps the skin dry out. So if you want that non-rubbery skin, this can help. And I'm gonna be hitting it with a rub that I bought just recently. It's from my buddy Scott over at the Real Show Barbecue channel. I've had some of his rubs before. When I saw he had a new one, I just went ahead and bought a couple bottles of it. It's called Bailey's Ultimate Rub. Really good, I think it's gonna go great on this chicken. I give a good coating to everybody here. And these are just gonna stay on this rack and this tray in the refrigerator overnight to help air dry. Keeping them up off the bottom helps that air circulation. We want to get all sides of the chicken here. And seriously, look at these things, how big they are. Maybe you've seen bigger drumsticks, but these are, I don't know. I don't usually see them this large. All right, see, I think we're looking pretty good here. All right, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna get these in the refrigerator. They're gonna air dry overnight. And like I said, tomorrow, I'll see you out at the Weber Kettle. All right, the Weber Kettle Master Touch is coming up to temp. This is the first time that I'm cooking on this on video. I've done a couple test cooks. I picked this up a few weeks ago, did a burn in to clean it out. Now it's time to put it to work. So let's go ahead and get our chicken legs on. Might just fit everybody on here. What do you know? All right, let's get this closed up. Let these get cooking. So as you saw, there's no vortex in there today. I'm just using the two Weber briquette baskets. Those come with the Weber Master Touch. And I'll be doing a comparison video between this and the Weber Kettle Premium, the other one that I have, just to show some of the differences and see whether you might think it's worth the additional price point on this. But right now on this breezy day, we're just gonna let these cook. I'm not using any internal temperature probes. I'm just going by the lid thermometer, which I, Rarely do, but in this case, it's okay. We're gonna go for somewhere between 350 and 400 degrees, and we're gonna take these until they're 165 internal, which is temperature for chicken. But somewhere before that, maybe between 140 and 150 internal, we're gonna sauce those with some buffalo wing sauce and put them back on to finish. So in about 25 minutes, we'll check these, see what the temperature is. All right, we've been going 25 minutes on the kettle now. Let's check our chicken legs. All right, let's check this guy right here and see what we're at. That's showing 132. You know, that's close enough for me. We're gonna go ahead and sauce these and get them back on. The sauce I'm using is a buffalo wing sauce that I just picked up at the store. It's about 12 ounces of that. And to that, I added a quarter cup of maple syrup. Mix that together. We're just gonna sauce these up and get them back on. Well, the Master Touch sure is getting a nice little dirty baptism by all that sauce dripping down. I don't care. All right, let's get the lid back on and we'll check these in about 10 minutes. All right, we've been going another 10 minutes for a total of 35 minutes. Let's check our temperature. Oh, those are looking good. Let's see, let's check this guy over here first. 162, that's good. I'm pretty sure these little guys are going to be, yeah, he's 168. Let's see if we can get this guy right here. He's a little one too. Oh yeah, 178. 
The dark meat, thighs and legs, a little more forgiving. So some of those smaller ones shot past the 165. Not gonna hurt them. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get these off and then we're gonna have a taste. All right, here are our finished chicken legs. Went ahead and garnished with some black sesame seeds. They taste good, they look nice on here too. Nothing left to do, it's time to taste, so let's just dive in. And the first thing I wanna do is I wanna slice into one of these. Love that dark meat. Look at that. I hope it's come through on camera here just how beautiful these are. The color came out perfect, but let's have a taste. There we go. Oh, that skin is not rubbery. That's what I was shooting for. You get it air dried overnight, then you give it time to dry out and crisp up a little bit on the kettle before you sauce it. Perfect. Mm. That Bailey's rub on here, really good. A great base of flavor underneath sort of the heat and the sweet of the sauce. I can see that going really well on beef too. I've just tried it on chicken and I tried it on pork just as a test, really good excellent on these legs and I can't wait to try it on beef. Mm. I mean, just look at how juicy that is. Best of all worlds here. Nice crispy skin, great sauce, juicy chicken. Mm. So if you've got a bunch of good sized chicken legs or any chicken legs, don't hesitate to air dry them overnight. Give them a good seasoning, let them have that time to let the skin dry out a bit. You're gonna end up with nice chicken, no rubbery skin and ready to accept a great sauce.